time. Ben! Ben! Holly! <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um... Maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Ah, uh. Actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. <laughs> She's got wings. <laughs> wow! She's a butterfly. Betty Butterfly. <laughs> morning time. <laughs> Good morning, tadpoles. <gasps> the tadpoles have got legs. Wow, that's amazing! Yes, Holly, but it'll be even more amazing later. Ooh! Mummy! I want to show you something. What is it, Holly? Come and see. <laughs> <gasps> I can't see my tadpoles anymore. Tadpoles? They must be invisible. Nanny, did you do a spell on them? No, Holly. So where are they? Oh, dear. I think the king has found them. <laughs> where did this come from? <laughs> really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <laughs> ah! My tadpoles! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. Here, froggies, this way. <laughs> this is my ring. And these are my toys. <laughs> Great, 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 great. Follow me. These are the chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us, don't we, children? Eggs! Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. Some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> What did the sheep say? Ahem. <clears throat> the sheep said, Bah. But what does Bah mean? Bah means Bah. Uh, <clears throat> sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <whistles> 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 
<laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. <laughs> Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Or there's bird spotting. Don't tell me. I look at birds and write them down in a book. Yes, something like that. I love birds. Please try it, Daddy. <sighs> OK. What do I do? You'll need binoculars, a bird spotter's badge and, of course, a book. Welcome to the world of bird spotting. Look for birds, then tick them off in this book. All right, I'll give it a go. Oh, a bird! What sort of bird is it, Daddy? Um, it's a robin! Yes, a robin! And I spotted it! This is rather fun! Oh, there's another bird! What does it look like? Um, it's got a long pointy beak! Oh, it's a woodpecker, a very special bird. Can I have a look, Daddy? Yes, Holly. Oh, the woodpecker's landed on the great elf tree. Orange juice, Ben? Yes, please, Mum. Ah! Quick, everyone out! It's an earthquake! It's, it's an earthquake! It's an earthquake! It's not an earthquake. Phew! <laughs> It's worse than an earthquake. It's a woodpecker. Oh. <gasps> it's smashing the tree. It's made a hole. It's got inside. Oh, it's not in my flat. Phew, it's not in my flat. <laughs> our door stuck. Here, son, let me try. I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your lives! Ah! <laughs> Look! Ah! Oh. An acorn. Now, what does an acorn grow into? Is the answer an oak tree? I was asking the children. Yes, yes, but an oak tree is the right answer. What the wise old elf is trying to say is that this little acorn will grow into a huge oak tree. Ooh! Cool! Can we see it grow now? Oh, oh. It will take years and years to grow into a tree. Aww. We could give it some magical help. Nanny Palum, we agreed. No magic. But look at the children's sad little faces. They'd so like to see the acorn grow into a tree. No. Please, Nanny Plum, make the acorn grow into a tree. Yes, yes please. please. I'd love to, but it's up to the wise old elf. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well. I'll just do a little spell. Stand back, children. Just a small tree, please. Yes, yes. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow. Little acorn grow, grow, grow! Nanny Palum, is that your idea of a small tree? Um, it is big, isn't it? But I can easily make it smaller. No, no, it's fine as it is. Let's move on. Next up, mushrooms. Ah, oh, good. Mushrooms. Who can tell me what this is? A toadstool! Uh, yes. Correct. Now, 
you should never, ever eat a toadstool. It would make you very... What Mr Old Elf is trying to say is that you should never, ever eat a toadstool. It would make you very sick. Indeed. So, never, ever eat a toadstool. Yes, wise old elf. What's that? It's an owl. It's got very big eyes. Would you like me to tell you an amazing fact? About owls? Uh, I'll take that as a yes. The owl is in fact a bird. It has big eyes for seeing things. <laughs> Six o'clock. Time for bed. Oh. I'll put the fire out. Can't you leave it to keep the owl warm? It's dangerous to leave a fire going, Princess Holly. <laughs> That's right. Don't go to bed till the fire is out. And don't go to bed with a carrot on your head. <laughs> That's silly. Then, Holly. That's lucky. They can show us where the Queen Ant is. Gaston, say, take us to your leader. <laughs> What did they say? Gaston says the ants will give us a lift. Cool! Yeehaw! Giddy up! Giddy up! Whee! <laughs> ah, my tummy! This is fun! <laughs> this must be where the queen ant lives. Ooh! Oh, is that the Queen? Uh, yes. She's, um, big, isn't she? Hmm. Gaston, can you translate for us, please? <coughs> Greetings, your aunt's nurse. I am Nanny Plum. And I'm Holly. I'm a pretty fairy princess. I'm Mr Elf. I'm Mrs Elf. And I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> We're elves. <laughs> and you've got my horn. And there's my wand. There's the king's piano. And our TV. And my magic picnic basket. Gaston, ask if we can have our stuff back. <laughs> I think that means no. Why won't you let us have our stuff back, Nanny? Ugh, goodness knows. What do you want all this stuff for? <laughs> she says it's for eating, even though it tastes horrible. Why is she eating it if it tastes horrible? This isn't food, you know. <laughs> Queen Ant says they used to collect food left over from big people's picnics. <laughs> but the big people haven't had a picnic for ages. <laughs> so the ants have to eat any old rubbish they can find. I wonder what pet Nanny has magicked up for Daisy and Poppy. As long as it's small, I don't care. Ahem. May I present the princess's new pet, Pippin. A rat! No, Your Majesty. Pippin is a lovely little hamster. How sweet! Yeah. Pippin likes you, Daddy. <coughs> oh, it is cute, isn't it? Cute isn't quite the word I had in mind. <laughs> I think it'd be um happier if it lived outside. Very well. Back, back, Pippin. <laughs> They're fine as long as you don't show you're afraid. Back, Pippin. Back, Pippin. Back. There. 
there, Pippin. Welcome to the courtyard, your new home. I hope Pippin won't be bored living here. We'll give Pippin some toys. And hamsters like lots of straw. Can we give Pippin something to eat, Nanny? Foodie, foodie. Yes. And a drink. <laughs> Aww. That should make Pippin feel at home. the courtyard full of straw. It's for your hamster, Your Majesty. My hamster? <laughs> it's funny. The courtyard looks just like a hamster cage. Yes, very amusing. Why does it have to run about so much? Hamsters like running about. <laughs> we'll fish from the stern. Where's that? <sighs> The back of the boat. Come with me. Fishing is a tricky business. You must have the right type of bait. What kind of bait are we using today? Stale bread. Stale bread? Who likes stale bread? Should we put some butter on it, Dad? And jam? Yes. We're not going to catch anything with stale bread, old boy. Stick a bit of jam on it. Stop! I'm the captain, so while we're aboard Bunty, we do what I say. Aye, aye, aye captain. captain! Now be quiet. Fish don't like noise. Very bossy, isn't he? This is so exciting. Shh, everybody. Now we wait. Are you sure this is right? Of course I'm sure. Come on, let me have a go. Fine, you'll see. It takes time to catch a fish. I've caught a fish. Holly, grab the net. Get ready to catch it. Well done, Daddy. Wow, it's big. It's a whopper, all right. And I caught it. It's only a little tiddler. It must be the biggest fish in the lake. It's too small. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. I've seen bigger. Much, much bigger. Bigger. Really? Really. Oh, look! A squirrel! You can't trick me like that! No, Ben. There really is a squirrel. <gasps> a squirrel! Easy now, Ben Elf. What's wrong? It's just a squirrel. Just ignore the squirrel, Princess Holly. Ah, look! He's picking up an acorn. Sound the acorn alarm, Mr. Elf. What's going on? It might be Acorn Day. What's Acorn Day? Not now, Princess Holly. Calling all elves! Acorn Day has begun! Don't panic! Please leave the elf tree immediately! It's probably a false alarm. Yes, hopefully it's just a practice. There he goes, Mrs Elf! Mrs Elf! Hello? Oh! Oh! Don't panic, Mrs Elf. Just hand it back. Get out of there, Mrs Elf. Quickly! Will somebody please tell me what's going on? One day every year the squirrels come and store their acorns in the great elf tree. We call that day Acorn Day. What's so bad about squirrels storing acorns? Yes, they need to store their food for winter. And it's just an acorn. One acorn would be OK. But there are many squirrels and they have many acorns. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't stop him, wise old elf. It's not your fault, Mrs Elf. There is no stopping them once they've started. What do we do now? Now we wait. You see, after one squirrel has put its acorn in the tree, another will come and copy it. Squirrels are very good at copying. <laughs> Oh, 
da da dee dum da da dee da There. All nice and tidy. Oh, what's this? It's just bird seed, Nanny. I'm trying to attract some rare birds. Don't sweep it up. Are you sure, Your Majesty? We don't want to attract a mouse. Look, Holly. Eggs. <gasps> They're hatching. Baby birds. Hello, I'm Ben and this is Holly. Oh, they're so sweet. Hmm, they'd be a lot sweeter if they weren't in our home. They're going. I think they're trying to fly. But they can't fly. I can teach them. Fairies are good at flying and I'm a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, baby birds. Just copy me. Flying is easy peasy. Oh, they're not copying me. Maybe we should start with something simpler. How did you learn to fly? I've been flying since I was a baby. I can't remember my first flying lesson. Hmm. Let's begin with flapping. Like this. <laughs> They're copying you, Ben. Now flap faster. Now jump. They're flying. Clever, Ben. You taught them to fly even though you can't fly yourself. 